October 29th at lunchtime. Uh, we are at the Takanda Road in the inner part of the exclusion zone and the ash fall has picked up again. There is a big black plume rising up with loads of pyroclastic material. Ash fall is pretty heavy now again and uh, this is the inner uh, exclusion zone. So this is as far as uh, uh, scientists and uh, civil protection people can actually go. We can go a few meters further, but then uh, the inner part of the volcanic area is off limits. And uh, here we see the jets of material coming out, the fire fountains, and uh, the lava in front of us is still kind of steaming away. Uh, there's gases coming out of it. Here's several of our team and uh, the thunderous noise is just incredible. It's very hard to kind of uh, hear something at times and uh, you see the fiery jet coming out. I'll try to focus in a little bit more. Here we go. So the front, uh, the front opening towards the west of the cone is also where the lava is emitted. This is where the white, uh, um, the white gases come up. This is where the lava channel currently um, is located, and uh, the black ejected material that is the ash plume, and it goes several kilometers high, obviously. And the ash is falling, uh, therefore, really straight on us. The wind is rather still. This is why the ash plume is going straight up. And uh, here, the white gases coming from the lava is mainly water vapor that's coming and degassing from the flowing material going down the channel. And there, we lose the channel. It's flowing currently towards the southern side of the lava field at the Todoka area. And uh, I will just leave you with a few more impressions and a few sounds of this.